Hi, thanks for watching, and today I want to cover one of the most important series in calculus and analysis called the geometric series. And our goal for today is to find the value of the following sum. So find the sum from n from 0 to infinity of r to the n, which is just 1 plus r plus r squared plus dot dot dot, where r is a real number. Now, the first thing to notice is this doesn't always converge. And in particular, note the following. Note, if r is greater or equal to 1, or r is less or equal to minus 1, then the sequence itself, so then r to the n, it definitely doesn't go to 0. Because, let's say r is 2, then 2 to the n goes to infinity, which is not 0. If r is 1, 1 to the n goes to 1, which is not 0. If r is, let's say, minus 1 to the n, then r one minus 1 to the n doesn't even converge. So it doesn't go to 0. In particular, in this case, the series diverges by what's called the divergence test. Then the series of r to the n diverges. Okay? By the divergence test, which I'll cover in the next video. What does that mean? It means, let's just focus on the interesting region, which means r is strictly between minus 1 and 1. So from now on, assume uh, r is strictly between minus 1 and 1 or equivalently, absolute value of r is strictly less than 1. All right, and now with this convergent weirdness out of our way, let's calculate the value of the sum. But remember, how do you calculate a series? You have to find the partial sums. So let, so consider So Sn to be, again, the sum from a k from 0 to n of r to the k. In other words, Sn, and you'll see, this is quite nice. Sn is 1 plus r plus r squared plus dot 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 plus r to the n. And here's the trick. Consider Sn times r. So consider Rsn, it's like the MSN of our generation, if you know what that is. So Rsn, that's just R times 1 plus R plus R squared plus dot 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 plus R to the n. And then, so what is this? So let me just rewrite Sn for reasons that will be apparent in a second. So 1 plus r dot 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 plus r to the n. On the other hand, rsn becomes 1 plus, so becomes just r plus r squared. Let me rewrite this like this. Uh, plus r squared plus dot 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 plus r to the n. So r plus r squared plus r cubed plus r to the n plus r to the n plus 1. And now subtract both things. So on the one hand, consider Sn minus Rsn, which is the same thing as 1Sn minus Rsn, which is 1 minus Rsn. On the other hand, subtract this from this. Then what happens? Well, 1 minus 0 is still 1, but then all the other terms r minus r is 0, r squared minus r squared is 0, r to the n minus r to the n is 0. So really all the middle terms cancel out and all that's left is minus r to the n plus 1. It's almost like a fundamental theorem of calculus vibe going on. All the middle terms cancel out and you're just left with the endpoints. And then what do we get? We get 1 minus r sn, 
Well, remember we want to find Sn equals 1 minus r to the n plus 1. Therefore, the beautiful thing is we have an explicit value, or explicit formula for Sn, which is 1 minus r to the n plus 1 over 1 minus r. But now remember, r is strictly between minus 1 and 1. So r to the n plus 1 actually goes to 0. So again, remember how to find the series. You found a partial sum, which we already found. And we just not need to let n go to infinity. So since uh, r is between minus 1 and 1, what we get is r to the n plus 1 goes to 0 as n goes to infinity. So Sn, which is 1 minus r to the n plus 1 over 1 minus r, as n goes to infinity, that goes to 1 minus 0 over 1 minus r, which is 1 over 1 minus r. And this is the value of our series that we call capital S. Therefore, to summarize, what do we know about the geometric series? So fact, so not only is the geometric series sum from 0 to infinity of r to the n, not only is the value 1 over 1 minus r, but second important fact that we found, we found it converges if and only if r is between minus 1 and 1. So absolute value of r is less than 1. So that's an important thing to know. All right, thank you very much.